No. We call, we use what? We use y hat equal to beta one. Huh? Beta na hat plus beta one hat x to estimate. To estimate y equal to okay we use y hat equal to beta na hat cross beta one hat x to estimate y equal to what huh? beta na cross beta one x okay and in our early notation this is what this is denoted by a this is denoted by what b right Okay, and you know B is what? B is R times standard deviation Y over standard deviation X. And A is what? Huh? Y bar minus BX bar. Okay? So, how good, question. How good is the prediction? Suppose I want to know how good is the prediction, right? The answer is, the answer is, if, if, look at here, if beta one hat predicts what? Beta one very well. If beta one hat do a good job, okay, in predicting what? Beta one. And beta not hat predicts what? Beta not what? Well, okay? If beta one hat predicts beta one well, and beta not hat predicts beta not well, okay? Can we say it do a good prediction job? Almost yes, except there's one more thing we need to predict. Look at our early assumption here. Huh? You need to estimate the size of what? Huh? Y noise, the random factor. Is that okay? This is also one thing you need to what? Estimate. Because this one tells you how far away the observed value deviates from what? The true population line. Am I correct? So you need to also estimate this one. Huh? Also estimate this one. Sigma squared, okay? But how can we estimate the sigma squared? Let's look at the graph here, okay? The red line is a true population line. We want to estimate. And the blue line is what? Huh? Least square regression line. We use least square regression line to try to predict what? The behavior of the true population line, right? Look at here. If I can predict what? I use A to predict beta naught. I use B to estimate beta 1. And I want to predict what? Epsilon K. What can I use to estimate epsilon K? A very natural choice is what? Through EK. Can you see that? Okay? So that's a big picture. So to answer the question I just asked you, other than beta 1 hat predict well on beta 1, Beta na hat predict well on beta na. You need to also estimate what? Huh? The size. Also want to estimate. This is sigma squared. Okay? Okay? And how can we estimate make the size of sigma squared? Well, the sigma square head, I put a head, that means I want to estimate what? Sigma square, right? Look at the notation. Theta head is used 
to estimate theta. Is that clear? So theta hat squared is used to estimate what? Sigma squared hat is used to estimate what? Sigma squared. And how can we estimate this, this size? Well, this size is estimated by what? Look at here. E1 squared plus what? All the way up to what? E n what? Squared. Divided by how much? Most people say divided by n, but that's wrong. You should divide it by what? n minus 2. Why it divided by n minus 2? Look at here. I give you a data set. x1, y1, all the way up to what? xn, yn. Am I correct? y1 to yn supposed to have n degree of freedom. Okay? However, you lost 2 degree of freedom. First one, beta not head, is what? y bar minus what? Hmm? Beta not, beta 1 head, right? times x bar. In what? Beta 1 head is r times standard deviation y over standard deviation x. You have two constraints. Therefore, you lost what? Two degree of freedom. Is that okay? So you divide it by two because only n minus one direction can generate variability. Okay? So your sigma square head is estimated by this guy. E1 squared plus all the way up to En squared over what? Over n minus two. Is that okay?